Okay, so we have installed our code either on our WordPress website or on our Shopify store. So next, we just want to be able to check on the front end that it's working. We will test it in Facebook next, but let's have a look what it's on if it's working on the actual website. So you want to be in Google Chrome and then you want to go to the Chrome store and you want to search for the Facebook Pixel Helper. This is what's going to tell us whether the Facebook Pixel is installed on the website. So this is our little Facebook Pixel Helper up here right now. You will see it's gray because there is no Pixel installed on this website. So we're going to hop over to my website and um, I'm going to just hit refresh. And then we're going to hit the Pixel here so we can see it is blue and let's have a look here so here we go we know our pixel is working we had success yay hopefully you're looking now and you're looking at your website and you're seeing the success as well and then the random flowers by d that's there you will know that if you're on a shopify store because i had to pop it on a shopify store so you could see how it actually works so here we go we're, we're happy that it's working so just make sure you're in Google Chrome. It cannot be done through Safari with the help of the Facebook Pixel. So now we're going to go into the back end of Facebook and we're going to check that it's all working on that end. Okay, so we're in here, we're in our Pixel. So just in case you ended up with two, just like I have, um, when you're looking at your Facebook Pixel code on the previous video, you will actually see the number. So this is our Pixel here, the 827 so we're going to test and see if it's working so you're going to be here so i'll just come back one little bit if you've gotten lost somewhere along the the way the the menu there you want to click on it and then you want to click on events manager so you have it here or here so if you're not in there it's not going to be highlighted so you just want to make sure you're clicking on the right pixel and then we're going to go to go to test events so we're going to enter our website, going to open. So it's just sending some test traffic there to be able to see. So let's go back and have a look. So go to overview. I still not got some action. Let's give it a second to refresh. So don't panic if it is not showing anything there. We did it. <laughs> it is working. There is our page view. Boom. We are in order. So there we go. Our Facebook pixel is installed on our website and it's capturing data to be able to track users and what they're doing, what their behavior is. So when you need ads manager in the future to be able to say, hey, go find me people that look like this, it's going to be able to do it. So that's just the basic of the page setup. Next, we're going to have a look at how to actually set up custom conversions so you're able to track more information like we were talking earlier about the sales and people's behavior, such as if you had a free download and so on. So we're going to hop into that next.